Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Um, I have not done Vlogmas in a few years. And I decided this year to go ahead and do it. So I'm excited to start today. Um, so a lot has changed since 2017. Um, so basically, uh, I switched from working nights. I work days now um, in a home care. Um, so I work like more of a Monday through Friday, like nine to five type of schedule um, for the most part. And then every so often I have to work a weekend, but uh, no more nights, no more like 12 hour shifts or anything like that. So that's um, that's been um nice and different so you're gonna see this time um more of my daytime vlogs versus like 2 a.m sitting and uh talking about nothing um if you can't tell already by my voice i am a little sick today um i've actually been sick for the past this is day two of being sick um i did go ahead and get covid tested yesterday i got a rapid test which was negative i did take a regular test actually the day before that too um because i uh try to get tested when i can um just for my own knowledge and also because my work um there's like one aspect of my work that requires it and even though I don't really do that one thing um that does require it I still like to do it just in case I have to do that one thing that way I have the test already and I was feeling a little sniffly that day at first but just thought like oh it's allergies or something and then I started feeling a little worse so I'm still waiting for my results for that test um, my doctor said that the rapid test even though they wanted me to still go ahead and do the rapid test they um they weren't um 100% sure like about the accuracy because I guess they haven't really been so accurate so they didn't really want to rely on that so I am kind of in a quarantine right now for the next 10 days or so from work so uh while i'm doing that i'm gonna be pretty much here at home bored so i decided to make sure that i started vlogmas this year um so a lot has changed since then um john and i are still together um we're actually engaged and i just realized i left my ring um i just did the dishes so i have to go get my ring in a second I'll show you guys what it looks like but we moved out um of our parents houses a little bit after vlogmas ended about three months later um we moved into an apartment for about a year and then we decided to buy a house um so we've been in this house for almost two years now and it'll be two years in January and this past September we got engaged um, and then when we were still in our apartment in 2018, we actually uh, extended our family. So I have a puppy now. This is Max. He's sleeping right now. He knows I'm sick, so he's kind of been with me by my side. He's um, three years old. He is a mix, uh, mostly beagle, lab, shepherd chow chow bulldog he has a little pit bull in him he's he's the sweetest dog ever but he's my he's my boy and he's uh been just really taking good care of mom right papa i'm taking care of mama yeah so we um woke up this morning a little bit later than i normally would just because i am still kind of like recovering and sick uh yesterday i really just uh roughed roughed it out i didn't uh take any meds or anything today I decided uh, to take some day quill and it is helping quite a lot um i'm just trying to really stay on top of like my fluids and that kind of stuff um, I did have this little Orgain, um, 
shake for breakfast. That's really all I've eaten. It's almost one o'clock, so I really should eat something. And I have water here. I need to actually um, make some more. I think I might do some greens in here. Uh, I'm just really chilling at home today. Nothing's really going on. Um, John is at work. So he still works nights uh, partially. He works actually three days a week. He works um, third and first shift. So he works um, a double. So he works like a 16 hour shift. So he'll go into work about around midnight and then not get home till like 4 p.m. the next day. But he only has to do it for three days in a row and then he gets a good amount of time off, which is really nice. Um, so I've just been kind of here at home. Um, I did uh, clean up a little bit. Our, our kitchen is currently under construction. Um, we're just redoing it. When we moved into this house about two years ago, we did a lot of the construction then, like re, not construction, but like remodeling and stuff like that, painting. And one room we didn't do anything to was the kitchen um, until now. So it's kind of like half, um, half usable right now, half like of our kitchen stuff is like in the dining room. We have a bunch of like construction stuff. I'm in my living room right now. Um, so I will show you guys um kind of what it the progress is throughout the uh the uh month but i'm excited to uh be back at it i miss it i've actually i was actually watching my uh vlogmas vlogs from 2017 a little bit earlier today and yesterday and i decided you know what it's december 1st i'm gonna go for it we're gonna do it again and i'm excited so, um, I will probably be back a little bit later. Maybe I'll show you guys our advent calendars that we're going to be doing this year. Um, obviously with COVID and stuff, like, we're not going to be doing as much as I did then. We're not doing any Christmas parties or anything like that. Um, the only plan so far I have for, like, the holidays is, is, uh, Christmas Eve, we're going to be doing a brunch um, here, actually. I'm going to host it. So we're going to have my parents, I think, and then John's parents, and then um, his brother and uh, his family, like his, his sons. So my nephews, I have nephews now. Um, and uh, yeah, so Christmas shopping wise, I have a couple gifts still to get. Um, everything I'm doing is really online. Um, some more gifts will still be coming in, so we'll probably wrap some gifts together and do some of that stuff. So, um, I think I'm gonna go probably try to make some food for me because I haven't really eaten anything aside from that shake, and I should probably try to get some food in my system and then in a little bit I do want to make dinner um for John because he's gonna come home about 4 4 30 and then he'll take a shower eat and then go back to sleep because he has to wake up late I mean wake up at midnight to go back to work um so I will see you guys later on and uh yeah hey guys so I want to show you my advent calendars um well sort of so i have i guess technically three different ones that i'm gonna be uh doing this year so first off you can see here we have this pillow um my aunt gave this to me a few years ago uh when i still lived with my parents so i uh use it now my house so basically it comes with this little gift and each day you just kind of put it in to the correct pocket so today is day one so you want to make sure it's there and the picture for today is these cute little christmas trees so i thought that that was pretty cute so that's an easy one um the next thing we have over here you guys can see this little setup i have 
Um, it has my The Day Before Christmas book, which is a little dusty. I gotta dust that. Um, but this is just for show, and I kind of bought it um, thinking, like, eventually one day um, it will be nice for my kids and stuff to have. So I have these two advent calendars here. So this I got at, I believe I got this from Target last year, if I remember correctly. And it just has all the different drawers. And you can fill it with whatever you want. So obviously this is reusable. So last year John and I put candy in here. So we're going to, we did the same thing for this year. So we have in number one, this little drawer and there are just like two little candies in there. So I'm going to take one for myself. And then I'll leave one for him. So I'm going to leave that one in there for John. So let's see. This one is dark chocolate with pear delight. So that's going to be cool. Um, I'll try it in a little bit. I still can't really taste very much. But... We will open that later. And then I got this one at Aldi. So I never did it on my Vlogmas, but I did show my Sephora um, advent calendar when I did Vlogmas last time. Uh, but every year I usually do like a beauty advent calendar opening on my Instagram or Snap. I think I started on Snapchat. And then the past couple years, I just did my Instagram. I didn't go and buy, like, an expensive one this year um, or even, like, a cheap one because I didn't really uh, want, need any more beauty stuff. I just have so much. And, like, as you can see, like, I'm not wearing any makeup right now or anything. With this pandemic, I haven't really been wearing a ton of makeup once in a while for certain things I'll put like obviously concealer on um, my skin is kind of breaking out right now from my mask um I had a pretty big pimple here that's kind of just starting to fade but anyway aside from that I'll do a skincare routine probably one of these days but I did get this at Aldi just because I saw it when I was at Aldi um grocery shopping and I thought it was kind of cool it's the uh, 12 days of glowing skin advent calendar and it's all pretty much vanilla scented like soaps body washes all that stuff which everybody knows that I love vanilla anything um scented soaps or whatever so we're gonna do this this is only a 12 day so I figure the first 12 days of December I'll do it and that'll be that so I'm gonna open number one right now I don't know if I can do it I'll try to do it like on camera but I'm not great with this stuff oh okay what is this right, I'm having trouble getting it out but it's the uh, scented ooh, bubble bath okay can you guys see it we're vanilla scented bubble bath so that will be nice I don't really take baths here uh, very much just because our tub is a little smaller but maybe I'll have to take a bath or I could use it as like a shower gel as well um, it's a pretty decent size so I could use it like as a travel one as well too um, so yeah that is that I did also want to show you guys just my little Christmas tree set up here please ignore all the stuff on the background is all like for our kitchen remodel that we're doing so uh, you can ignore all of that but basically here's my tree we have most of the gifts kind of already wrapped here I have a few more to get but for the most part um the gifts are all here. Um, I might go through and do like a what I got for every person um, little uh, thing. I do have a few gifts still coming in the mail. I think quite a few. I think I have four or five gifts still coming. And then I have two people I have yet to even buy anything for. Um, so I have to do that at some point too and I gotta really get that done soon and then our stockings are over here 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, let's back up. Okay, there we go. And ignore the TV. I was watching The Bachelorette. I just paused it to make this quickly. So, yeah, I don't want to say what I put in John's just because he might watch this. But some of the other people aren't probably going to watch this. So I feel more comfortable talking about those gifts. Um, I will show you later when our tree is lit. John actually has it on his phone. Um, and he tried to set my phone up to do it as well, and it wasn't quite working. That's something that we have to figure out because I don't like when he's working, then I can't turn the lights on and off. So I have to kind of like wait for him to come home, and it's a pain. So we have to work on that. Um, so that's kind of all that I'm doing right now. I think I'm going to finish watching The Bachelorette. Um, I might look at some Christmas gifts online. I still have to buy for my best friend Andrea and I have to buy for my cousin Mason who's four. So uh, any ideas for a four-year-old boy that has a lot of toys already, let me know. Um, and then I'm going to make, in a little bit, I'm going to make some chicken marsala for John for when he comes home from work. Um, so I might show kind of a little bit of the process of that, um, as well. And that's kind of it for today. There's nothing, the first few days of this vlogmas, you guys, is really going to be pretty boring because I'm going to be just stuck at home in quarantine. I can't even really go even to like the store or anything. So, um, yeah. But when John comes home, I'll try to get him in the vlog um, just to kind of say hi. Oh, I didn't show you guys my ring. So I went last clip. Uh, I didn't have it because I just washed the dishes. I forgot to put it back on. Here's my ring. I love it. We got it from Diamonds Direct, which I like. Um, it's They uh, don't have blood diamonds. So the diamonds are, um, you know, not like slave trade diamonds. Um, which was really important to me um, when I, uh, you know, whenever I, like, learned about diamonds and how a lot of the um, diamond industry works, I was, like, really upset. For a while, I always said, like, oh, I don't even want a diamond ring because it's just so bad what they do and all this stuff. But John knew that, so it was important to him to find a place that I wanted um, as well. And ignore my uh, pimple patch on my chin, too. <laughs> Alright, so that is kind of uh, the plan for the rest of the day. I may or may not vlog later. Uh, probably will just show you guys dinner and possibly John. And I don't know. There's not really m much else going on today. But if I think of anything interesting, I will show you guys. Hey guys, so I am currently making dinner for John and I. Um, so I have chicken in my pan right now. I just put some olive oil and butter in there and I've just been cooking my chicken for about five minutes per side. I have some over here that are done. Some of these, ba these bigger pieces have to kind of go back in, but I wanted to cook these are like bigger pieces. So I wanted to make sure these were done for him for when he goes to work so to make this it's really simple like I said you put the butter and oil in the pan let it melt coat your chicken in some flour um, with just salt and pepper is what I put on it I'm gonna need some garlic so I went ahead and chopped up about four cloves of garlic I have mushrooms here I have Madeira wine I'm sorry Marsala wine here chicken broth um, you don't need to have chicken broth, but sometimes I like to add it just to give it a little bit extra volume. And then normally people put heavy cream. We don't have any, so I'm just going to use almond milk because that's what I have on hand. Um, and then obviously you need seasoning, so some salt and pepper. And then you can serve it with pasta, rice, potatoes, like whatever you want. Uh, we have this really easy pasta here the 60 second pasta 
So I'm just going to make this. You just microwave it for a minute. And it makes two servings of pasta. So John honestly will probably eat this whole bag by himself because he usually doesn't eat at work. So he comes home and he's like starving. So I might just make this whole bag for him. and Because I don't think I'm going to eat now. I just ate not long ago. Um, so I'll probably eat later on. And then from Thanksgiving, we still have a leftover pumpkin pie that we never ate. So he can have some of that for dessert. And we got this cool whipped cream from Aldi. It's like the pumpkin spice whipped cream. So he'll probably have some of that on the pie. Or John also, I believe, has ice cream. And he's such an ice cream person. So he's probably going to might have that for dessert instead. So I'm going to give this another minute or two on this side and then I'm going to flip and then I will make the sauce. I will show you guys when dinner is ready. But basically for the sauce, you want to saute the garlic and mushrooms. I leave the butter and oil that's already in the pan from the chicken. Leave that in there. Throw in the, uh, throw in the garlic and mushrooms saute those for a few throw in the liquids season with your heart and throw it over some pasta and call it a dinner all right so i will see you guys in a little bit this is how the chicken came out is it good honey delicious so the chicken came out good and you have some pie for dessert. It's too bad you make more money than me because I'll say stay at home and make me dinner every day. <laughs> <laughs> and Max wants some too. Hum, blah, blah. So that's it. We're just going to finish eating. Well, I'm eating pie. I'm going to eat my dinner later because it's still kind of early. And then John's going to go to sleep. And then I'm going to try to get some rest. Right. Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, John went to sleep. Um, I cooked. It's like 7.30 about right now. Um, I cooked myself the, some more chicken, or heated up, I should say. Some of the chicken and the, um, sauce. And eat that for dinner. Um, and then I was just on the phone with my mom for a little bit. I got my COVID test back. It was negative, which is good. Um, so now I'm pretty sure it's just a cold. I sent that information over to my doctor um, and I let work know. I'm pretty sure I still have to be out of work for 10 days because it's a viral infection. Um, it's just like the way that it, it works. If it was like a bacterial infection or something, I can, I would be able to go back earlier. But since it's viral, I just have to kind of wait it out, which honestly is not the worst news, I guess, in the world. At least I get a little break from work because work has been really crazy lately. And I think like part of the reason I'm sick is just because I was overdoing it, um, and so Max is just next to me sleeping. Um, I was just watching uh, ABC did like a Disney sing-along special for the holidays. So I was just kind of watching that and just kind of relaxing. So I think for the rest of the night, I'm pretty much just going to be here. <sighs> I'm going to try to make it somewhat of an early night tonight i didn't really sleep well last night again um it's been like two nights of not sleeping very well so um i think i'm gonna edit this vlog or when i say edit i mean just kind of like put it together um i decided for this vlog miss i'm just gonna be doing everything on my phone i just got like an editing app um, and just going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to throw all the clips together, probably throw a title on it and call it a day. Because um, otherwise I probably won't keep up with it if I have to like upload everything into my computer every day and, and do all this editing. So I decided to not do that and just keep it simple. 
Um, so that is what my plan is for the rest of the night. Um, so tomorrow the plan is really just same thing as today. Nothing really, really different. Um, I can't really do much. Um, I might like at some point maybe take like a drive just like to get out of the house for a little bit, but I really shouldn't be going anywhere or doing anything like that. So that is it. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm just going to finish watching this and I might throw like a Christmas movie on. Um, and that's it. So we had a successful vlogmas day one. Bye guys.